Now, do you go back and put the other ones in or not? So, you don't even have to put them in. Oh, yeah, you don't put them in. I don't put them in because it's going to come out. Your heart's not going to be. You can't have them. So, now you got to get the, the reels on your right. You can, you can feel with your hands by feeling underneath the slate how much of a gap there is between each one. And that's one way of getting it lined up. Then we also have to look at this right here, our center pockets. A lot of times, if you know you set up a table, you might get it so that the center pocket is. Uh -huh. It looks, so you can just see it looks funny. So you want to get that in center spots there also. constructed real well and they're not made to hold weight. <laughs> so there, there is really no weight on this right here. So all the weight is on this beam right here and it goes straight to the floor. That's it. There's nothing here. So when you move a table, you want to make sure you don't damage that because it will fall off. And you can see it's just stapled in with those real tiny staples on it. And that's how it comes. So it's something to look out for when you're moving it around. Maybe something you'll have to put a screw in or something. I usually put the pockets in first. It makes it a little easier. On some tables, when you put these pockets in, like your center pockets, you're going to have to trim. This tables and pockets are going to come out just right. around the same. See how the pockets just going to sit right in there, and you're going to just center it. Same. 
So you have to on some tables say the pocket and it would come out like this. You would have to trim that. Trim this excess off right here and I can't have to observe it. But there's going to be a point where you want to These pockets are only held in by two nails. So it's, you don't want to tell them, but I don't want to tell them to pocket the balls. Well, I'm not going to have the same laser effect will happen if you over fill a pocket. You might even get a light ball come in, hit the top ball, and bounce back. So you can have it.
Same thing when you, you know, like you put your reels up here. It's going to be the same way to put the skirt on. You're just going to hold it up. He's going to set it on his knee. I'm going to set it on my knee. Then we have both you know, my hands are free. Now I'm going to center this with my hands. I'm trying to. you got to get your end up, babe. Okay, there you go. Then I'm just going to get it centered between the reels. That's the same thing. We're just going to get it up tight with your knee and then just going to get it That's really all that the customer you know, really wants. We usually put two on, one on each side. It's for the reason that they can alternate their acting and breaking. Yeah, they can yeah. save the points. Yeah. And they can save the points. Yeah. Yeah. These are just regular lip kind of spots.
I've seen some that have the gap in the corner where they put a little spice thing and it's, it's, it's separated from the sides. Is this what you get a nice like? Yeah, that looks good. I've seen the gap. That looks terrible. Like this turned off from the gym. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Fancy and difficult, huh? Well, I think we're going to do the Bristol instead because the Bristol is a Brunswick and that's probably going to be the one. This band, uh, here's the one we're going to right away. Do they ever short you on screws? Are you normally pretty this good shape? This tells you what it is, too. This is your base frame. So. What's that? Do they ever short you on the screws, or you pretty much count them out well when they give this stuff out? Usually they give you what you need. Yeah. It's pretty uncommon to get shorted. That's good. Your two holes are a little bit different here. One's higher and one's lower. Yeah. You have to make sure you get that right, otherwise it won't happen. This, see, if we put it like this, it wouldn't be in the right spot. It has to be like this. So that the whole table, it, this table is actually upside down right now. Right? When we flip it over, everything's got to be flush up here. Cool. Yep, these are going to just slide right into the hole, and then your bolt will slide right through. Go from that side? And it doesn't really the tabs go in? Tabs, you know, the tabs really don't matter. Yeah, you can go either way with it. They won't be in the way. No, there's, they won't be in the way either way you go. Now, how many boxes are with the Brunswick? Usually, usually five or six. Oh, okay. And what you do to start this? It's hard to tell because the wood is so soft, so your screw might actually start in the spot. Just eye it up. You know, as far as the distance between here and here is the distance here. That's all you do is eye it up. So one side has pre-drilled holes and one side doesn't? Yes, it does. One side has pre-drilled, the other one doesn't. Table 
almost has to go on the legs right at the same time. The old four meters might not go. Right there. Okay, it's this top one right here. I'll say they don't go in the bottom of the air going in. Because they're not exactly tracing at all. And what's that table style called? What's, that? what's this one called? It's a Bristol. Bristol. It's a Brunswick Bristol too. The middle slate goes on first. Your slate when you're screwing it down, just do the same thing with this. I'm going to spray both ends first. Is that dry? It's very quick. It's well, his is already ready to lay down right now. When you look at the actual glue, and you can see it start to doll up. Go on, yeah. yeah, the, the glue actually starts to get dull. That's when it's time. Center pocket. No, that side's ready to lay down. Start in the middle, right? Work your way. Yep. Too tight, but just tighten it up there. Yeah. 
you know, especially if you sell this table over as a display or something, you know, you'll, that way you'll be able to take the cloth off and then you reuse the same cloth. That's basically a contact cement. No, that'll be okay. To, that'll be under the. That'll be under the thing. 